This video will show you the Interface Builder basics on the platform. Go to the Web Pages tag which contains all our pages. The standard address for any app on the platform has this structure. System name dot directual dot app. All information on the page is arranged in horizontal sections. Components like forms, tables, kanbans, markdowns or components with HTML code can be added to each section. Now let's add a div tag inside the HTML component. It will appear as a simple rectangle in light green. Great! You can add another section at the top or bottom of the existing one. Also, you can control the number of containers for components or column width. Let's add two more columns. One will be narrow and the second a bit wider. And place a few components with HTML code, simple colored rectangles. This example does a good job of showing how component containers are arranged relative to each other. You can drag and drop sections, rearrange them, and move containers and columns from one section to another. Each section has additional margin settings, which can be increased or decreased. You can also set the maximum width of the section in pixels and align it left or center. The margin and alignment settings will revert to standard if you take the values out of these settings. You can customize how to place component containers for different screen resolutions in each section, including for tablets and cell phones. The arrangement can be horizontal or vertical. For tablets, it's better to use a horizontal arrangement. And for cell phones, a vertical arrangement works better. You can enable or disable the header for pages, or you can change it. You can also add additional tabs below the header. Let's add one now and drag a section into it. If you want to delete a tab, just open its settings and click delete. Now let's deal with another type of component, a markdown. The first tab has components with HTML code and the second with a markdown. Markdown is formatted text in which we can mark up headings, subheadings, paragraphs, bulleted or numbered lists, links and pictures. You'll find a lot of helpful links and hints on markdown syntax in the documentation. This is how the formatted text looks in the app. Let's add another component, a hint, which can be orange, green or red. You can add a header and text here. You can also use HTML markup in the text including adding links to other pages or external sources. Now you've learned how the general layout works, next we'll look at specific components and portal settings.